I'm Polly Bath. I speak in schools throughout the country helping to manage and change difficult classroom behavior that interrupts instruction. Today, I'm going to answer one of your questions. What should I do next when I tell a student to stop what they are doing immediately, but they don't? This one really um, relies on a plan in place. When I get to a place where I tell a child to stop immediately, it means that I've exhausted uh, kind of my instructional prompts, redirections, uh, cueing, uh, all of the things that I would have in place to manage behavior. And I'm gonna always have that one child that's gonna bring it to that place where I say, you're done, stop immediately. If they don't, it really relies on a plan. It might be an outside resource, it might be a neighboring classroom, it might be another person involved, but whatever it is, it has to happen. So when I say that immediately, child needs to know that right away something's going to happen. So maybe it is they have to go someplace else, someone picks them up, um, whatever it is, but it has to be in place. So, and it has to be in place every single time. So that means that you're going to run the little risk here where if the child is removed from the classroom temporarily, um, they come back, they do it again, and then like day three, you say immediately, and they go, okay, no, 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 miss, or no, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. The minute you say immediately and it ramps up, you got to follow through. So I never use that type of directive cue unless I have the plan in place. So it doesn't have to be a big, huge plan, just follow through with whatever it is immediately. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch these videos, and if you've got questions for future videos, include them in the comments below.